Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome back to another trip to the bins. I'm heading there on a Sunday at like almost two o'clock. So it might be crazy. I'm just trying to mentally prepare myself for that. Um, we had a really fun weekend with my daughter. She's about to turn five and she asked for a hotel like staycation for her birthday. So we went and stayed the night at a hotel last night and had like a movie night and she got to go to Claire's and buy some makeup and some jewelry. And it's just like the cutest age right now. I really, I really am loving it. But that is why I have a late start today. So we're going to head there. We are going to dig through mounds of clothes. Hopefully I'll find some shoes today. I have not had a good shoe haul in so long. So fingers crossed for that. But I'm going to head there, see what I can find in the middle of the day. I never come at this time. So I have a feeling there are going to be a lot of teenagers there. <laughs> It's Sunday. I think it's the last day of spring break. So it's just this whole week at the bins has been really busy, but we're going to head there. We're going to see what we can find. I'm going to take you with me. And then at the end, I will show you everything that I picked up. Um, let's head there. Let's go. I'm exhausted, but we're doing this. parking lot is like basically full so I really hope this doesn't um turn out to be a crazy trip to the men's I'm staying positive people are gonna start clearing out of here I think in a couple hours I hope so we will see how it goes I'm gonna be um trying my best to get in the new rotations but I cannot I don't know I'm just kind of tired today, so we will see how my energy level is once I get in there. I do have a coffee, my coffee for the day, so we'll see if this kicks in. <laughs> Let's head in, let's see what we can find. I'm excited to be here. I feel like I haven't gone like on a weekend in a while, even though it was literally last, no, last weekend was Easter, so no, I haven't been on a weekend day when I have the time. So. It's gonna be a good day, it'll be fine. Okay, we're gonna head in, let's get to digging. All right, here's an update. Honestly, kind of a weird day so far. I did find this Blink-182 like pristine condition poster. I had this on my wall in high school and I could not leave it behind. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it, but it might sell for pretty good on eBay. I found a couple American Girl dolls, but they are pretty trashed. Um, I'm gonna look them up and just see how they do. Some new balances. I have to look up a lot of stuff. This is a talkie docky backpack, so that's really good. It's probably the best thing I've found. Oh yeah. Oh hello, welcome to the haul portion. <laughs> um, let's jump into it. I might as well just show this because it's in my hand, but I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna show you some of the clothes that I found for my family. <laughs> I forgot. Um, anyways, this is that talkie docky backpack that I just showed you guys. This is not worth very much at all. I will probably get maybe 15 to 20 for it because it is a little bit of a cheaper, uh, just the, the fabric content is, isn't the best. And this one has a rip inside, which is a bummer. So it has a rip to the lining and it also has some other flaws along the, this is like a faux leather patch, so it's kind of peeling. Um, I did still wanna pick it up though because it did sell pretty consistently. If you do find anything else that has the talkie docky, talkie docky, <laughs> that's what it looks like. Um, it's usually all like cartoon, anime, maybe not anime. I don't know exactly the, the genre or anything, but I have sold purses with this from this brand in the $80 range. So some of them do really well. That 
on the other hand, does not. <laughs> but still a fun find. Okay, so some baby clothes. I only have a few, so I won't bore you, but I just cannot believe what I find for my girls at the bins. It's amazing, it's so amazing. This is just a, oh, three little tots. I don't know the brand, but it's a little sleep sack, and it's the ones that tie at the bottom. So cute, little newborn jammies for my baby. This is Tucker and Tate, which I love to find for Marlo. Oh my gosh. This is also a good brand that the consignment stores will take as well if you do that sort of thing. So this is just a cute little denim floral dress. A little romper. This is Grace and Minnie, so this is just from Target. Cute little romper. I think she'll be able to wear this. Oh, so she'll be like a year old when she wears this. And then just another little sleep sack. This is newborn. I really love the gingham, like mint green color. And this is the one with the little elastic at the bottom. Those are nice. So anyways, <laughs> if you have any kids or if you consign kids clothes, the bins is a great place to find items. You really have to dig for it um, every day. I was gonna say most days, but you have to dig. Um, but you can find a lot of really cute stuff. Okay, let's get into miscellaneous items like this. <laughs> so this is a vintage WWE like kids toy belt. Um, it's from 2005. I have sold two of these before. They only sell for about 20, 25, but they did sell. And this is so lightweight and in really good condition. So I wanted to pick it up. It's just a fun thing to pick up and to list. Um, yeah, so just a kid's little toy. And then I found this Brixley bag, which I have wanted one of these for a while, but I'm not a fan of the this print, so I won't keep it for myself. But I get ads on Instagram for this brand all the time. <laughs> and it is pretty popular. It, it is kind of expensive. I think they're like 40 dollars maybe 50 i don't know but that's pretty spendy to me for a purse because i'm so cheap but i found it at the bins and i should be able to sell it for 20 25. oh my gosh that was not smart i've got it for purses i think so okay so some shoes i found these on clouds they need to be washed i'm going to run them through the washing machine and see if i can clean them up a bit but they're in pretty good condition the soles aren't too bad they still have some you know, they're not completely bare, but they do definitely need to be cleaned. They are my size, so I might keep them, but I probably won't. <laughs> I have too many shoes. Um, these I will probably get maybe 40 to 50, depending on how clean I can get them, how spiffed up I can make them look. Here are a pair of Olakai's. These are just a men's, oh my gosh, sorry. I'm holding them awkward. Men's kind of slip on suede leather shoes size nine they're in pretty good condition actually um just a few marks to the leather but i'm hoping to get about 30 for these okay let's jump into clothes um i didn't really find too many items this trip i think i barely made weight so i probably had like 26 pounds <laughs> i barely made it but um some pretty good things some cute things um, yeah, let's just jump into it right away. First up, I did find two pairs of Figs pants, which are the, um, wow, why can't I think of the name? <laughs> wow, scrubs, scrub pants. You guys, I'm sorry. My brain doesn't work sometimes. So these are just a really nice pair. These are actually men's. I've never found men's fig pants. So this is a men's style, size medium, really cool, like emerald green color. These will probably get like 24. I can't get much for figs anymore, but they still sell. Um, so I will pick them up if I find them at the bins. Here's another pair. These are like a blue. These are women's medium petite, very cute. They are the jogger style. Um, probably about 20 25 for those. 
These are a new attack J. Crew. They're like a corduroy high rise and they are straight jean. So that's why I picked them up. A lot of key factors here. I'm really hoping that they sell soon um, because otherwise I will be sitting on these probably until fall time uh, since they are corduroy. Um, but I just thought these were really nice and I'm hoping to get about 30 for those since they are new a tag. This is another out of season item I got, but I, I couldn't leave it behind because it is so cute. It's LL Bean. It has this like Nordic print to the collar with the mock neck. And this is actually, um, I, I guess kind of like a blogger fave. When I did the Google image search, a lot of influencers were seen wearing this. So I'm hoping that that helps it sell. It's a size small. I'm hoping to get 25 to 30 for that. I'm going pretty quick. I feel like I'm probably not though, but um, I'm going to, uh, you guys need to let me know what you prefer. So when I'm watching haul videos, I kind of just like people to go quickly through the brands and to show the tags. So um, if that's what you like, let me know. Or if you prefer me to go into detail with like the size of the material, um, all that stuff, let me know what you guys like, what you prefer in the comments. This is Able. This is a nice brand I like picking up. This is so soft and cozy, and this is their Harriet sweater, which is a little bit more of a popular style. Um, it's a size small, it's boxy, oversized, really pretty green color. This is more of a fall item, I would say. So I'm hoping that it still sells. It may be pretty springy because it is super lightweight, but I'm hoping to get about 30 for that since it is a popular style. This is a really fun vintage tee that I found. Get ready. <laughs> it is size medium and 100% cotton. It's not single stitch or anything. Single stitch, you can tell. This has two stitch marks right there. One and two. That's how, it's a that's how you know it's a double stitch. Single stitch will just have one stitch. That's a good indicator to know or to at least put in your listing, your title because a lot of people are searching for the single stitch. But I thought this was really cool. And um, Jesus religious inspired t-shirts, especially vintage, they do pretty well. So I thought the color was nice and the rainbow graphic, it, it should do really well. I should get about 25 to 30. I got some Abercrombie. This is like a newer Abercrombie tag. These are just a tie waist wide leg crop pant kind of silky with the olive green color. They're a size medium long. So um, I'm kind of experimenting with picking up newer Abercrombie pieces because some of them do actually sell for a good amount. These ones, I will probably get about 20, 25 for them. They are a, uh, probably like three years old. So not super new or on trend, but um, still worth picking up at the bins in my opinion. Next is a Soma. This is a pajama loungewear line. I found a set. Actually, somebody at the bins handed me the other one because she saw it in my cart and I was just like, oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> this is very nice of her to do that. Um, they're an XL, so great size. Little polka dot like capri wide leg pants with the button up shirt. Very cute for spring and summer. Lightweight, not too hot and sweaty. <laughs> I'll probably get 30 for these guys. This is a Chico's. You guys, I'm picking up Chico's again. I had that week where I sold like four items. So <clears throat> now I'm like, oh, maybe I'll just give it a try again if I think that it could do well. This is a size three. So that was a number one. That was one of the reasons why I picked it up. Um, size three, it's a silk blend and it's just so cute. I think it's so fun, funky, bright. I love the print and I'm probably going to get like 25 for this. I would say I just cleaned off my phone. So I'm sorry if it was super smudgy. <laughs> I was like, wait, it's kind of, kind of foggy. Let me fix it. And I'm, yeah, now I'm worried that the whole video was just greasy. So I hope not. Okay. Next is life is good which this is a brand I will only pick up at the bins. Their hooded t-shirts I have found do pretty well for me. 
Um, and this is just a really cute one. It says tune in. It's a size medium. Really great for camping, hiking this spring. I will probably only get like 14, 15 for that. This one actually sold already. It sold in a day. And I, I know why. Because <laughs> it's Fiori. This is an amazing brand. I cannot keep this in my closet. And I'm sure you guys all know as well. But a great athletic wear, athleisure brand. This sold for 40 or no, 30 $30. I had it listed. No, it sold for 40 I had it listed for 50 Somebody offered 40 on Poshmark and I accepted. <clears throat> Here's another Soma piece. They do also make dresses. This is a maxi dress, really pretty, size large. It's more on the cozy side, you know. Nothing that's going to make you uncomfortable. Soma is just all about comfy. <laughs> That, I will probably get maybe 25 to 30 for that guy. All right, next is Soft Surroundings. This was a 1X, so that's why I picked this guy up. But it's very spring, summer vibes. It has like the terry cloth kind of, it just reminds me of going to the beach, taking a walk at night on the beach. And it has like the little cowl neck, so I thought that was really cute. This, I'll probably only get 20, 25 for that. This is John Galt which is, I think Brandy Melville and John Galt are the same thing. Correct me if I'm wrong. But this is just a really cute little cropped baby doll tank top. It has little flowers. It's new a tag from PacSun, so that's the main reason why I picked it up. It's just a newer style, a blogger fave, and I will probably only get maybe like 20 bucks for it, but that's totally fine. <clears throat> this one just sold. Oh, I have two more pairs of shoes in here. <laughs> This one just sold on Poshmark for 17, which I happily accepted. Um, it's been posted for probably like three days, so I was excited about that. It's just Napua Collection Honolulu. It's a 3XL. <clears throat> just a really cute kind of button front Hawaiian dress. It's black. I have I rarely see black Hawaiian print um, floral dresses. And it has a cute little tie at the back. And it's probably about knee length. <laughs> um, I, I pick up a lot of Hawaiian dresses just because they do sell really well, especially right now. Um, but the vintage ones, as you guys know, I've talked about, those are my favorite to find. This is not super vintage, but I just wanted to give it a shot. The sell-through rate was honestly not that great, but I thought with it being black and the size that it would sell, and it did within three days, so that was amazing. Not for much, but I'm glad to move it in general. This is a really cool Lululemon. I don't, I don't ever really say really cool Lululemon in the same sentence, but I really like this ombre effect. I've never seen anything like this. It's just a long sleeve um, running shirt, size six. I have this up to 35 because it is a little bit more sought after because of the ombre. Last clothing item. I thought these would do way better but they don't. It's Dark Seas, made in the USA. These, this is just like a surf brand, but these are a pair of board shorts. Pretty cool, super wrinkly, but I need to steam those out. It has a little American flag. Um, I have these up for 30, but the sell-through rate is not the best. I was very surprised. I didn't run comps at the bins. I just picked up because it was made in the USA. Um, nice board short. So I'm, I know they will sell this summer. I will probably maybe only get like 20 for them, but they are listed for that $30. Okay, two secret pairs of shoes down here. They were hiding from me. I forgot they were down here. But these will be the last two items from this haul. So pretty small haul, but um, yeah, I just wanted to quickly share with you guys what I picked up. These are a pair of Everlane loafers. They're a size 10. They're in pretty good condition. They do have some creasing to the leather like the toe creasing and then there's some like marks along the leather as well but pretty nice condition italian leather probably about 25 to 30 for these they are kind of saturated <clears throat> but i should still be able to get you know at least 25 for them some everlane leather shoes do really well but those ones not the greatest okay lastly are these teaks 
this might be the best find of the day, honestly, depending on how well those on clouds clean up. But size 10, I've never seen a chocolate brown teak, and this color is actually pretty sought after. So I'm excited about that. They're in good condition. They have some um, markings to the toes, but I just took the Wonder Balsam stuff and put it all over it, and it kind of went away. You can't even tell. Um, but these I have up for 80. So that seems like a lot for teaks these days, but this color, <clears throat> um, I think I could get about 70 to 80 for them. So exciting. I found these right when I walked in actually. And that's when I knew that it was going to be okay. <laughs> it was going to be an okay day. I was going to do it for today. Ending on teaks, not too shabby. Um, it was a little bit smaller of a haul. Yes, but I was just I just want, I like to show you guys everything I find. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned some new brands. I hope you got some work done. Thank you so much for joining me and being here. Um, if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. That would be amazing. I have a goal of 5,000 subscribers um, by the end of the year. And that seems crazy, but I'm going to try to do it. So if you're not subscribed and you enjoyed this content, please consider. I would so appreciate it. And I would love to have you here to hang out with me like every week. That would be cool. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you on the next one.